right, so we're gonna walk you through how to install the BenQ LK936ST 4K projector. Now, inevitably with every projector you set up, you're gonna be doing some futs and you're gonna have to go back a few steps sometimes, go forward. But this is generally what you do to get this to fill your screen most effectively. Now this projector can be set up literally in any orientation, 360 degrees. What I like to do with it is to leave it flat and then mount it so you start with the, the lens of the projector shooting at the middle of the screen. Now when you get it plugged into your computer, it's gonna pull the graphics from um, your desktop computer. So if you have a HD graphics card, you know, you're gonna have to coordinate that with the projector. Now that's, we're not gonna cover how to do that in this uh, video, but I have the 4K computer and the BenQ has the 4K graphics. So I'm just gonna show you what I've done. Now I did have this set up on the side on a side card and it worked very well. Really all you need to know to get this started is how far away from the screen do you have to have the video. The screen size that I have is in a 16 by 10 orientation. Most projectors today are in a 16 by nine orientation. That's the native resolution. That's how uh, that's gonna give you the optimal picture and any other aspect ratio is gonna be uh, distorting that image a little bit. Uh, 16 by 10, just a little bit. Four by three, it's gonna be quite a bit. Um, the four by three aspect ratio is gonna give it, allow you to have an image in a tighter space. So the wider your uh, sim room is, uh, the more immersive it can be. So I've got it turned on here. I'm gonna go up top here. The first thing that I do with it is get the image centered on the screen. So what I got uh, here, I'm gonna open up this bottom compartment and this is our vertical and horizontal offset. So with it being centered in the middle of the screen, I don't have to do much horizontal offset. This gives you a ton of room vertically. So let's say I couldn't move this image down all the way, which I can. So I'll move it down right now and you can see it go down onto the screen. Let's say I could only get it this far. Well, then you have to actually angle the projector to get it so that it covers the screen. And then you would have to use the keystone functionality to get it from that trapezoid image into more of a flat or a square image or rectangular image. So I'm gonna take this down. So I've got it to where now it pretty much fills my screen. Now I have some baffles up here at the top from Carl's place just to help with some wedge shots. So uh, the ball doesn't come flying back at me, but we'll go just below those. And then we have the new C, the C enclosure, C series from Carl's place as well. So we'll line it up with the bottom. As you can see, this was very easy to get it to the center, but as you can tell, it's a little bit wider than um, my screen. So my projector's in the front ceiling position. So you wanna pick the position that matches where you have your projector. Then what I wanna do is I wanna to go to my display and this is on auto aspect ratio. I don't need that. Um, what I'm gonna do, so here's four by three, here's six by nine, and then here's my 16 by 10. And as you can see, it's pretty much right where I want it to be. So we're gonna be right there. And now I'm just gonna focus it. So if I turn this wheel on the, on the lens of the projector, you can see it, it, it focuses in and out. So I'm just gonna kinda of go on the other side of the focus and try to find that perfect spot. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we have our image focused on the screen. Now what I'm gonna do is use the keystone and corner fit function to get that, the corners of this real nice. So 3D keystone. So if I go to the vertical keystone, as you can see, um, let's do this. Let me just, I'll show you this. So vertical keystone here. So you can see these purple lines on the side. So for the vertical keystone, the goal is to get these purple lines on each side totally vertical so that they're not slanted at all. So I'm gonna bring it back down. I was pretty much there. Now, there we go. Now, the image is just a little bit too big right now so we can't see it, but you'll be able to see it when I corner fit uh, it. I can, I can tell that this one's a little bit 
a little bit slanted. So I'm going to fix that one. So we're going to go here. There we go. Now you can see that one's pretty straight. That one's a little bit angled, but I can fix that with the next step. So after that, you can do the 3D keystone for the horizontal. Like I said, we weren't um, off to the side too much, so we don't really have to do a ton. But as you can see, my bottom line is good and my top line is pretty good. But if we were off to the side, you can see how uh, now you can imagine that this image is going this way. So if the projector was off to the side over there, you can see how this one is going to, how, how you, it would look like this and then you correct it back. So you can correct it back. So in short, your vertical keystone is going to be your outside lines. Horizontal keystone is getting these top and bottom lines. And this, this R1 is if it's tilted. So we won't talk about that one because I don't, I don't see a lot of scenarios where you're going to have to mount it tilted, but this, this projector can absolutely do that. All right, so we're in pretty good shape. So the final thing you do to get this to be dialed in is you go to each corner. And if you look up here, I can use this purple line and I want to tuck that into the corner the best I can. So I'm going to go left with it to there and then I'm going to go up with it until I can start to see, I can start to see a little purple on the baffle. So I'm going to bring that down until that's gone. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom one and bring it down to that corner. Now we're going to go to this one and we're going to bring it this way. Good, and then down. And there is a limit to these numbers, so you might have to shift the, the image a little bit. So let's say I couldn't get that corner all the way over, then I would adjust that horizontal offset or the horizontal shift to get it. Um, this is where you might have to go back and forth and kind of play with it a little bit. And then we'll go to the top one here. And again, we're going to go up until we start to see the purple on the baffle and we can see it right there. So we're going to come down. And there we have a really good image. So really folks, when you're buying a projector, make sure you know your throw distance for it. And uh, that's going to make this a lot easier for you when you're setting it up. All right, so the last thing we do before we're ready to rock here is you're going to go into the menu and you're going to go up to picture. The nice thing about this projector is that it has a mode for you that you can use. You don't have to do anything with the settings for the colors or anything on here. So just go down to golf mode, hit OK. And what golf mode does is it really amplifies the greens and the blues to get really nice contrast for your image. And with that set, we are ready to play some golf.